Hey everyone, Mike Bedard here, product specialist and drum expert at Artesia Pro and F-Note Drums. Uh, today I'm gonna show you our brand new F-Note 5 drum kit. It's a e-drum kit and I'm gonna show you some of the strengths uh, this, this thing has going to market. So what we've got here is a 16 inch kick drum, we've got a 10 inch rack tom, we've got a 12 inch snare and a 12 inch floor. Uh, up on the cymbals, we have a uh, 18 inch ride, an eight inch splash and a 16 inch crash and 14 inch hi-hats. Each of these cymbals has uh, 360 playing zone and 360 uh, choke zone on it. So you can play the bell, the bow and the edge. You can choke it. Same deal. So over on the hi-hat, we've got a 14 inch uh, symbol with a plate underneath it with optical sensors in it. So this can read how far apart, uh, you know, your, your symbols are going dynamically. It can play heel to toe. and it has a, a full dynamic range. Just really good symbols. So when we're in here in, in the trigger function, you can go over to hi-hat control and you can uh, set the editing parameters for your hi-hat. So you have your foot uh, close sensitivity, right? Which is one through 10, all the way down to negative 10. And then you have your closed hi-hat tightness. See how the uh, graphic opens with it? Those are the optical sensors working with it. And I'm gonna set both of those to zero just because I'm boring. So here, I'll show you some of the sounds that are in this crash. I love the thing. Pretty funky. This is the Speedstar kit. Here we have a kit called the Great Strokes kit. I uh, edited quite a bit of, of the tuning on it. It's pretty muddy, but I, I just love the vibe of this thing. Uh, then we have the Studio F kit, uh, self-explanatory. It's a little more uh, dead, made for the studio. So one of the great features of this kit is its module. Uh, this is the same module more or less as the uh, F-Note 3. Uh, there's just some different kits in each that kind of fit the, the setup appropriately. Um, I'm gonna show you uh, some of the editing functions on this. I'm just gonna edit a snare drum. So we go into menu, it's very easy. Go up into kit edit, 
I will uh, hit the snare, which selects it, pop it open. There we have a whole ton of snares that we can pick from. It's the one that I had selected. Let's start there. So, uh, tuning, I've got that at minus 140. It goes up to ludicrous tuning. Down to So on these snare drums, there's quite a bit of complexity in their, in their sound, which means if you're not playing perfect, they're not going to sound perfect. If you play perfect, if you play like a machine-y kind, kind of role, you're going to have that kind of dynamic. But if you play uneven, it's all in there. The full dynamic range is in there. There's also a side stick that has full dynamic range as well. Back to the Neo Classic drum kit and I'm going to show you some of the other editing functions. So basically you have, uh, once it's selected, okay we're on the snare right, you have your level, you have your tuning, you have your muffling, here I'll show you that after I tune this back up to some kind of normal, okay, muffling, <laughs> okay, so that's uh, up to uh, 49, 50 uh, degrees of, of muffling, all the way down to zero. Right? Then we have, on the mix page, um, you have your ambience, right? So your ambience... I've got it at 58, let's go into the kit that's got the type of, of ambience. So here are a few of the different sounds that we have in there. We'll start it off, hall, hall two, So each drum on here has its own um, amount of ambience that you can put against the, uh, the, the overall level of the kit, right? So there's your ambient level. Go back in here. And then we also have a layering function. So you hear this here, let me tone down, tone down the uh, stage a little bit. Okay. So now I'll show you the layering function. I think this is a wonderful function. It adds a lot of complexity to any of your instruments. You can double up cymbals. You can add another snare in there and, and mix them against each other, tune them differently. You can actually match pitches or create intervals, whatever you want to do. 
it just adds a lot of, of uh, complexity to it. And I, I think it's a, a great function. Uh, here's how you do it. You go to layer, turn it on. It has your point, which your point is the, uh, the amount uh, of, of volume before that engages. So if it's set at one, it's gonna be in there from the beginning. I'm gonna set it way high. I think you can go up to like 127 or something. Yes, so I'm gonna set it at around 93. And then this virtual pad one, that's the VP one. I'll go up here to the pad, hit VP one and then go into instrument. And then I'll pick a snare for it. So now we have two snares. I'll put it on the uh, on the brass because it's kind of flat. So you have that real obvious sound that's in here, right? This is where you can put your chatter. And when you want it to ring, you bring it up. Whatever you want to do. So there's quite a bit of editing you could do on, on each of these sounds. Um, they actually come with really good sounding kits uh, right off the bat and some really uh, experimental, uh, uh, th there's not a lot of limitations on the thing. So I'm gonna show you a couple. Um, this one's called the First Note Kit. This is kind of a, uh, a funky tuned uh, bebop kit that I've actually gone in and tuned a hair different myself The kick drum, notice the dynamic range. I've, I've uh, displayed this on the, the three kit before, but this just, I love so much. It feels so, so real. Here's another way that you can use the, the layering tool that's in here. So we go in, go to mix, turn the uh, layering, you have the off and on. Now it's on and I've chosen this little, a higher wood block sound that's in there in the top. So here's another application for the layering function. So this uh, kit is called Snare Off. It has the snares off. So if you go into the layer, go into edit, mix, and then you have your layering, right? I turn that on. So now I have a chance to go in here. And now I've got virtual pad one, which is that snare drum. As long as you're next to it and you can hit it, off, on. Pretty cool. And uh, let's see, in pad, you have the curve, self-explanatory. That's how much front end dynamically is gonna be on your playing, how, how loud you have to play before it in, engages. It's 
go. And you have your threshold, which is also self-explanatory. Um, we can get that up to 50 and down to negative 10 on the threshold. So as far as connectability on this, uh, it's an awesome device. Um, so we have uh, USB audio, eight channels, plug and play. So you can plug into any DAW and, uh, and just it, it'll, it'll line out eight tracks for you. Uh, then you can assign your outputs from, from the device. Uh, at the same time, simultaneously, it has a USB uh, MIDI. So you can use your favorite drum software and replace it with it, or you can stack them all. You can have the stereo track of MIDI with the eight uh, channels of output from, from this device. I think that that's incredible. You don't have to uh, install drivers or anything. You just plug and play. Um, and, it's and you can also monitor. You don't have to run it back into the machine and monitor from here. You can monitor from your computer, which is great. Um, uh, as far as analog outs, we have... Uh, kind of a cool setup. You can either go stereo out, which is your typical uh, stereo uh, analog out, or you can go four uh, analog out channels by uh, by taking this the headphone jack. It goes it uses splitter and it goes channels one and two. Uh, one and two come from here, and then three and four come from here, and you can have all of your effects and everything bust to one and two, and then three and four is like you can isolate instruments just to bring them up a hair and get, get it in balance. It's not like, you know, an eight or 16 out uh, analog kind of vibe at all. It's just four with a little more control, which I thought was really cool uh, once I uh, figured out exactly how to uh, use it correctly. Uh, so I'll show you real quick here how to, uh, how to navigate this. So you go into your settings, and then you have audio pad, Right here, you have uh, banks A through D, right? Those are different settings of how you want to route your, um, your outputs. So here I've got one and two, I've got kick and snare, right? And everything else I have summed on three and four. Now all of my effects, everything are running to three and four as well. So I can use one and two to kind of define the... Um, the, the kick and the snare as I see fit, or I can put whatever instrument on one and two and do that same thing. Um, also with that, you have audio in out. So uh, you have a whole bunch of, of different options um, for, for your routing. So if you look here, I'm taking, so that's from my line out, that's one and two. I'm just putting that on the mains or I'm sliding it over to uh, to one and two there. Um, just very, very easy to get around on, very simple. It's like if it's difficult, you're thinking a little too hard about it. That's what I've uh, found with this. There's a lot of very intuitive uh, features on it. Then you have the basic maple kit. So I want to talk to you about this kick drum. There's a uh, kind of a subby um, placebo effect that when you kick it, the front head, it's, it's an actual, uh, uh, you know, mylar drum head. There's, there's body on the end of it, right? So when you kick it, you feel that bounce in your foot 
from that head. And I tried it with other kits that, that don't have the real drum head on the front and they're, it's like they fall flat next to it. So I just thought it was something special. Even, even when I hold it, the feeling of that compared to, that's like boo. There's this long sub that's, that's in your foot. The same way that a butt kicker works uh, on your throne. It's just something cool. Here's the Audience of Thousands kit. Let's add some ambience to this set. So we go into the edit, go over to mix. Okay, I'm gonna look at, I have that ambience on the snare. I'm gonna go into the kit. Let's change this up. Let's get on stage. So if you have any questions about the F Note 5 or the F Note 3 drum sets, please email me at mikeb at artesia-pro.com. Thank you. <laughs>